Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about properties of determinants. First property states that the value of the determinant remains unchanged if its rows and columns are interchanged. Symbolically, we will write it as Ri interchanges with Ci for all i. From this property, we get that for a square matrix, A, if we interchange all the rows with the columns, then we will get its transpose. So, that means determinant of A will be equal to determinant of A transpose. The second property is, if any two rows or columns of a determinant are interchanged, then sign of determinant changes. That is, if the sign of determinant is plus, then it will change to minus and vice versa. Symbolically, we can denote the interchange of rows as Ri interchanges with Rj and interchange of columns as Ci interchanges with Cj. Now let's see third property. This is states that if any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical. That means all corresponding elements are same, then value of determinant is zero. Now the fourth property is if each element of a row or a column of a determinant is multiplied by a constant k then its value gets multiplied by the constant k. From this property, we get that we can take out any common factor from any one row or any one column of a given determinant. Also we get if
corresponding elements of any two rows or columns of a determinant are proportional that is in the same ratio then its value is zero that is if we will take out the common factor of any one row or any one column outside the determinant then we will get either two identical rows or two identical columns then by property 3 we will get its determinant as zero now next property that is fifth property is if some or all elements of a row or column of a determinant are expressed as sum of two or more terms then the determinant can be expressed as sum of two or more determinants now the sixth property is if to each element of any row or column of a determinant the equi multiples of corresponding elements of other row or column are added then value of determinant remains the same that is if we change r i to r i plus k times r j or we change c i to c i plus k times c j then the value of determinant will remain same now let's take one example for this here we need to prove this determinant equal to 0 so let's start with the determinant itself the given determinant can be written like this here we have just simplified the column 3 now we will change c3 to c3 plus c2 and thus the given determinant will be equal to now here c1 will remain as it is c2 will also be as it is now in c3 we are adding c2 so it will be ab plus bc plus ca this will be ab plus bc plus ca 
Now here we will get AB plus BC plus CA. Here we have used property 6. As we have added to each element of column 3, the corresponding elements of column 2 multiplying them by 1. Now as we can see that all the elements of column 3 are same. So we can take them common outside the determinant. And this will be equal to AB plus BC plus CA into the determinant. Here again C1 will remain as it is. C2 will also be same. Now, as we have taken these elements common, so we are left with 1, 1, 1. Here, we have used property 4. Now, in this determinant, C1 and C3 are identical. So, that means the value of this determinant will be equal to 0. So, we get AB plus BC plus CA into 0. Here we have used property 3. So this will be equal to 0. Hence we have proved that the given determinant is equal to 0. With this we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the properties. Goodbye, take care and keep smiling.